Good evening. Um, good, nice to see so many of you here at the Art North conference. Uh, we just had some wonderful singing, and now it's time to do some uh, drawing because you have got to have diversity. So let's look at the, the basics of anatomy for, for prospective artists such as yourself. So let's start simple. So um, here's a head. So how many, like, you look at this, and you have, uh, it, raise your hands if you can visualize the head. It comes in here, for, inside the still, okay? It's, it's different else. Oh, you nerds. Okay, so then let's go a bit further. We'll add one line. So you have one line, which is the spine line, and, and again, raise your hands if you can see the, the head and the body as it, as it combines the teeth. Okay, good, good, okay. Okay, then let's add one more line. So we have the arms, and now again, raise your hand if you can see that this, uh, you have these arms, you have, okay, well, good, good, you're getting into this. And then we can add the waistline. And again, raise your hands if you can see this. And this is uh, basically, as you all know, uh, how all of drawing and how all of painting is done, is that you have a very rough outline, and then you uh, improve on that, and you, you polish that, and you polish that, and eventually you get something great. But raise your hand if you can tell from this picture that this, you cannot make this work. This is actually a bad picture. Okay, so there are a few people. And, and why is this? Well, if you've been following uh, your anatomy courses, you know that uh, the spine only bends one way. And your shoulder line and your waistline, they are always perpendicular to your spine. So if you go like this, and, and then uh, if you like, lower this shoulder, then you, this, this side of your, your hip comes up. And if you have both of them tilting in the same way, your spine needs to do an S, and you're probably going to an emergency board. And if you, if you look at this, you can tell that, that the waist and the spine, they are not connecting uh, in a straight line, or like, sorry, uh, perpendicular. And this is a thing that's really nice for us, we all who are in the visual arts. You have one ellipse, and you have three lines, and you can see the future. You can tell, okay, that's not going to work, just based on this alone. And even better is that you can explain this to people who don't even know anything about drawing or painting or any of that, because they have an like, internal understanding of, okay, like, you know, yeah, 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 you're right, you, my, my spine doesn't bend in multiple ways, all right? But suppose you weren't in the, in the visual arts business, Suppose you were a world of intangibility, so you would have thing, working on things in your daily life that you can't touch, you can't smell, you can't hear, and you can't feel, and you can only experience them through thinking. It would be very different from, from, from your, your, oh, sorry, your regular thing. So um, let's say you are working at, at your uh, non <coughs> sorry. Uh, your daily job at the non-corporeal factory, and then your bosses come in and they're like, oh, we have a new thing that you, you should be building. And they say, okay, so what sort of thing are you imagining? And then they will tell you, okay, so it should do this, and it should do that, and it should do this. And it's like, based on three sentences, it's like, no, no, that, you, you, you can't actually do that because it's not going to work. But if you're uh, the, the people who come to you, if they don't have this understanding, if they don't think about things, how would you express it to them? You can't. You're like, this thing that you are proposing has a fundamental flaw which cannot be fixed, but you can't express that in words. Uh, and th think about it further, and, and this becomes then a nightmare. And you try to uh, come up with, okay, so how do I explain it? You explain it, and you explain it, and you explain it. And then you realize there are no words that you can say that would express what the problem is. And the only thing that you can do is that you can let the thing move forward and, and it's going to be fail. You're going to hit and you crash and it's be destroyed. And you know how to prevent this, but it's not possible for you to explain that this is what's going to happen. But uh, as we all know, fortunately, all of this is just a bad dream. Or is it? Thank you very much.